was how I happened to receive spiritual initiation from Tulsi Maharaj, Swami Nirmalananda Ji, one of the direct monastic disciples of Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna. The ashrama used to wear a festive look on those days fixed by Swamiji for spiritual initiation. Many devotees would reach the ashrama to participate in the special service connected with it and they would bring with them sweets and fruits as offering for the morning service as well as for the initiation ceremony. As for us, ashrama boys and girls, we used to get stomach full of those delicious things for prasadam on initiation days. No wonder then that my idea of spiritual initiation was to get sweets and fruits from Swamiji. In short, stomach initiation. On one such initiation day, I chanced to watch a motherly devotee coming downstairs from Swamiji's room, munching something. I felt certain then that it was the sweets or initiation given by Swamiji. She had with her also a small box which I thought contained sweets she could not eat then. So I eagerly asked her, will you not give me some initiation? Astonished at my request, she replied, Me giving you initiation? If you want initiation, go and ask Swamiji for it. At once I ran to Swamiji, then in conversation with a few devotees in the ashrama portico. Bowing down at his feet, I simply said, Swamiji, I want initiation. At this, Swamiji looked astonished and also amused as he exclaimed, You want initiation? I readily replied, Yes, Swamiji, I want initiation. Then he became silent for a few seconds and then said smilingly, All right, day after tomorrow. Overjoyed, I touched his feet with my head and ran off. Learning that I had prayed to Swamiji for initiation, my father too was very happy. After a good bath in the river, that day after tomorrow morning, I was in the ashrama portico waiting for the call from Swamiji. Soon, I was led upstairs into his presence and I bowed down at his feet when he blessed me by touching my head. After I took my seat facing Swamiji, he gave me a mantra, the sacred name of my chosen deity, which he asked me to repeat after him. His only instruction to me was that I should chant that mantra for a few minutes every day, both morning and evening. With that, the initiation ceremony was all but over. But for me, the best was yet to be. Before me were vessels full of a rich variety of sweets and fruits on which my eyes feasted. Swamiji graciously filled my open palms with a generous selection from them. As I was eating them with great relish, he was looking at me with evident delight. What was my joy when he said, Now you can eat as much as you want. As a boy of eight, I was not ashamed to eat 
as much as I wanted. But then my father came up and asked me to bow down at the feet of Swamiji and walk off, which I did in good cheer. As I look back upon the events of that memorable day, the 9th of June 1936, nearly 80 years ago, I can recall only the boyish delight I felt then from my stomach initiation. But now, it is a sense of overwhelming blessedness that I feel in getting spiritual initiation from Swamiji. By that act of his measureless love and compassion, Swamiji not only admitted me into the great and growing family of Ramakrishna devotees, but also accepted me as his own, thus assuming the responsibility of my spiritual self-fulfillment. Glory to my Guru and God forever and a day. Jai Ramakrishna.